Wow, looks like it's another morning, another ride. I love the smell of petrol in the morning. Smells like a ride. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fletch and today we'll be doing another destination ride and dine. Uh, this time not in across the border but here at the dealership we're going to take off at about 10.30 and this time we're moving off to a local destination up in the east. It's roughly about a 40 minute ride covering about maybe 60 or 70 kilometers depending on traffic. Uh, and we have a total of about 10 or 11 bikes uh, if nobody falls out like the last time as you can see. There's a couple of bikes here as well. Mine's just parked over there. So what's going to happen is that we'll do uh, a little briefing uh, introduction to uh, the ride and dine. Then after which we'll take off and move off to uh, the tag restaurant, uh, which is at the Singapore Expo. And, and then we'll see what happens from there. Um, if we reach Tanjong Ru, I'm, I wanted to do a drone flight, but uh, the national day, our national day, uh, Independence Day, is coming up and they're doing rehearsals. So, that area, which is normally a fly zone, has become a no-fly zone, but I'll check it out anyway later on. And if I can, I will try and do uh, a little drone shot. If not, then we'll just do a couple of videos of the ride and everybody in it. Uh, so I'll catch you in just a bit. So basically, this is where they'll be gathering uh, later on. Uh, here in the showroom, as you can see, all the motorcycles. Uh, that's the new Street Glide ST. Anyway, so we'll be doing a briefing over here uh, telling them about the promotions and everything else and then we'll be moving off to uh, the first destination which is Tanjung Ru and then the second destination after that will be the tag restaurant itself hopefully we can do some videos and shoots uh, I'll do some little montages of uh, the ride up and even uh, a little bit of the briefing if possible uh, and then of course uh, I'll do my normal vlog uh, as well to let you know a little bit more of the ride and dine um, rides that we're having here. and we are about to go off uh, and looks like Paul is directing uh, how it's supposed to look like what's happening is that we're trying to do a uh, little video so that we can have uh, some memories for this particular thing so anyway the ride and dine is something that is organized by Harley Davidson uh, as you can see from here uh, basically we have about 10 to 11 bikes uh, for today Paul is on the Pan America we will be going off to Tanjung Ru first uh, and then after which we'll be going to uh, the tag restaurant at Terminal 1. Uh, I can see that Gerald is stressed <laughs> because we've got a traffic jam right behind us. So now just taking a little round uh, trip to... I'm not even sure of the route though. <laughs> Kind of, but I didn't expect him to take this particular route, but it's fine. 
everything for the show and everything for the video. As I was saying, Harley Davidson um, Singapore organizes the ride and dine uh, pretty often, at least twice a month. Uh, for the most part, it would be in Singapore, but uh, wherever possible, we'll try and do one at uh, across the border in Malaysia. Uh, as I was saying, uh, we do some rides uh, in Singapore and across to Malaysia. And recently, I just did one in Desaru. I'll put a link up in the description above. So anyway, I'll put it in the description above uh, for you uh, to let you know in the cards uh, that particular video that you can see. As I was saying, on the Ride and Dine, we try to do it for as many people as possible, uh, reconnecting with old customers and, of course, the brand new ones. And as much as possible, Harley Davidson will organize uh, the best final destination to a good restaurant. And that way, you know, uh, it's not only an enjoyable ride, but they get to have a meal as well. From here, we'll be heading off to the highway and hopefully if the traffic isn't that bad hopefully we'll be able to overtake like I'm gonna do now Right, so now we're in the uh, MCE tunnel. Uh, can't remember what it stands for. I'll probably put it in the description here. And we're heading off to the East Coast Parkway or ECP as you can see from up there. The exit is to Fort Road and we're almost at the destination of uh, Tanjong Group. That's a nice place to be. Uh, it's where all the major condominiums are. Uh, there's a big, or at least a really large field that we can stop off at. The, by right, there's no parking there, but I don't think they're going to say very much anyway. So far, uneventful. Uh, traffic was a little bit bad on the highway earlier, but everything seems to be working out fine. Uh, and then we're heading off to Tanjong Wu and. I do hope that when we get there, uh, if things are okay, I may decide to fly off my drone. But we'll definitely take some videos and photos and uh, do a little uh, vlog there uh, and give you a little show around the place uh, as one of the in more interesting places. And anyway, normally if it weren't for the National Day Parade rehearsal, uh, which is our Independence Day, we would definitely be a fly zone there but I think they've made some restrictions because the area where they'll be having the parade or the celebration is just maybe about four kilometers away and there'll be helicopters and flybys and so and so forth so obviously that's not going to be very ideal for them so we just got off the highway now heading towards uh, Tanjong Ru so the next time we talk, we'll be at the field. Right, folks, we're here now at Tanjong Ru. This is where 
this place is, and I don't know if you can see from the back. Uh, if you probably can see right at the back there is the Marina Bay Sands. Anyway, so these are all the bikes. Hey guys. Say hello. Hey. Awesome. And so these are all the bikers here for today. This is stop number one at Tanjong Ru, I think. Anyway, so um, right after this, we'll be moving off uh, again, heading towards uh, Terminal 1. And then finally, we will end up at Tag Restaurant. Heading towards uh, Changi Airport. We're already at the Changi Airport area. There are a total of about four terminals, or maybe five, I think. Can't remember. I haven't been here. <laughs> you know, we haven't been able to fly anywhere. I think uh, as we come closer, you'll be able to see the flight tower. And then we'll do uh, a little detour around the place called Jewel. They actually built. Um, a really large shopping mall which is connected to all the uh, terminals so that once you leave we encourage you to buy stuff and you know it's and loads of great food one of my favorite places there is um well I forgot i mean it's, it serves lobster buns uh, i forget what's it called uh, i'll put it again in the description there as you can see that little dome thing in the front uh that's basically uh, where the shopping mall is and it's called the Jewel uh, I think it's appropriate because it costs a lot of money uh, and as you can see the flight tower is right in front of us and you have a good view of that there uh, and of course being the airport you obviously uh, have uh, hotels here as well uh, ranging from just a standard airport hotel uh, and I think if we're if I'm lucky enough you should be able to see um, yes right there the Crown Hotel uh, which is uh, basically a five-star business hotel uh, right over there that's pretty nice and of course you see the flight tower right in front of us and that huge dome it is basically uh, jewel the, the big mall and looking up the clouds are turning pretty gray that's not a very good sign it probably mean that uh, when we do depart for home we could be soaking wet say la vie right there's life so taking a little detour here uh, going up to terminal one terminal one is probably one of the oldest uh, terminals here obviously because this is the one and the first one um, used to serve both uh, international and local and but now I believe that it is mostly uh, international uh, looking at all the various airlines that are there uh, right hand side here is that's Jewel as you can see from the name and luckily you didn't get caught by the traffic light right we should be heading towards the Singapore Expo now uh, um, and towards the end destination of the tag restaurant and of course our lunch we're almost there uh, i think it was a pretty uneventful and fun ride i think hopefully they all enjoyed it uh, and then we're going to have lunch um, at the tag restaurant uh, they normally just serve um, more Western meals. Um, I think they have one or two local items on their menu, but uh, not really very much. Anyway, the choices they gave us today for our lunch uh, was mainly mostly uh, grill items and uh, some pasta and stuff, which I'm having. 
So I think we should be almost there. We were actually meant to go to another cafe, a sister cafe called uh, Cafe Football, but I thought that it's, it's, I'm glad that they decided to go on this particular one because um, that was pretty nearby. It would be a, it'll end up being a 20 minute ride, which is boring. I think we've decided we've done now something like a 45 minute uh, ride, and I think that's pretty good. Yes, we're almost there. You can see the sign in ahead of us. It says Singapore Expo. There you go, that's the sign. And we're gonna turn right. If I remember correctly, yes. A little couple of more turns and stuff uh, within the car park. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, uh, we're almost there. I'm just gonna take a video of uh, us parking and then I'll have a little talk uh, once we get there and hopefully I can show you the place. <music> Alright folks, I finally reached my destination at Tag. Uh, hopefully you can see it from here. Uh, that's the restaurant behind us. And of course, these are all the bikes uh, parked. We unfortunately had an incident where one of the bikes had a battery failure and it's stuck there. So Paul is out there helping them. Uh, and hopefully it all works out. Uh, the tow should be coming soon. Uh, but they'll definitely join us for lunch. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us on this ride. Uh, I do hope that you enjoy it. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the, the like button and of course hit the subscribe button and finally hit the notification bell to let you know when the next video is out. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Fletch uh, and do have safe rides.